Wade sends it opposite side. Boots gives it right back. Boots now will try to use his body. Instead, Niagara coming up with it. The wraparound Ooh. attempt, and that's a goal. Yep. Number 14, Ryan Namoski with the wraparound as Boots let him go. It's 2 0 Niagara. We talked about Namoski with the great burst here, able to wrap around and use a little bit of muscle. And as you mentioned, Gino, nobody knocked him off the puck. Just kind of just glided right in there, used his body well. As that we're under one minute to go. In front, Stanley's shot, save made, rebound, pops to the near side, getting the pad out. Another opportunity, shot, save, track it again, way out, and there is a goal. Yep. That's gonna be Stanley, and it's 3-0 Niagara. Well, first off, the Tigers did a poor job of trying to clear the puck. When they tried to clear it, they centered the puck, which kept it in the O-zone for Niagara, and they just kept attacking. So the Tigers, hopefully he's okay. RIT cannot afford to lose any other player. Going in, the backhand attempt, and that's a goal. Danny Willett jumping in, and it's three to one. Opportunistic there. They get the block shot by Laskowski, and it kind of starts to rush the other way, and here we go. Willett just kind of jumping in. Look at that, kind of splits the defense. Great energy for the Tigers as Joffe ahead. Jake Joffe going in and scores! And the Tigers have cut it to three to two. John, you can feel that coming. Petrucci in front, the trap dial. He hasn't knocked away. Joffe, shot! Save made by Veltri. Rebound, another save by Veltri. And another! Again, this is sudden death here. As Evingson takes it ahead. Evingson going in, shoots oh. and scores. And Niagara will earn the victory here tonight. What are they looking at? They're looking at something, and the, the, the Purple Eagle players are not going off the ice. It, it's, it's the right foot. Yeah. Did the right foot do enough to impede Drackett from not being able to make that save? You can almost hear him maybe talking about it. No goal. No goal. We are still playing. Cypherling will pinch. Cypherling swing it. Willett Ooh. wasn't aware. Now he tracks it down. Willett sending it far side. In front, Cypherling for the win. Oh, oh, and the five hole is closed oh, by Veltre. Big save by number 31, trying to go five hole. Closing second, sending it ahead. Can the Tigers win this late? Four seconds, down low oh. Calvary, the shot! And the save made by Veltre, and now we go to the shootout. Oh. It'll be Stenlud taking the first for the Purple Eagles. Ludwig Stenlud going in. Stenlud scores. And that puts the Tigers on their heels. Niagara up in the shootout, one to nothing. Okay. Alden Dupuy, stick handling, going in. Stick handling, the shot, Ooh. and Veltri turns it aside. Stepping out will be Nonoski. Wait, Wait that's it? Wait. Wait, oh. would they change the rule? What what are they ruling here? Wayne is furious. Yes. What? Are, why are they ruling Niagara won the game? It's a best of three. It always is. It's a best of three. The, the officials don't even know the rules. Wayne is furious. Oh, wait a minute here. The, the sport, sports information for RIT is screaming from the press box. It's a best of three. Who are they consulting with right now? The officials. Niagara is going off the ice. It's the second time Niagara thinks they've won the game. They're going to have to come back out. All right, here they come. Here come Somers coming out. All right, Veltri's now back out on the ice. That's good. Here we go. Would have gone mad. Joffe. Going in, Joffe to tie. Goes in, oh. and we are tied at one. <laughs> Joffe, you knew he was going to score, right, Cheeto? Here comes Hammaker for the RIT Tigers. Can they win it here? Hammaker bringing it wide. Hammaker scores! <laughs> the Tigers score the ice! You betcha! Gino, we've been calling RIT hockey now for 12 years. We've never, ever experienced what just happened here in the last 15 to 20 minutes.